I feel like you can kind of see how stressed I am based off of the pimples on my chin. <laughs> mice update. So all the control mice have reached the end point and I have four mice remaining. So the animal workload has definitely decreased, but I did order 50 mice this week. So they're gonna be here next week. On the off chance that all four mice have reached end point today, then I can get a Saturday and Sunday off. And that would be so freaking nice. It's two minutes until the seminar. So let's go watch these seminars. Good luck, Lucas. And I'll give you a little introduction to my, to my thesis project as luck would have it, my mice are still fine. So I'm coming in here tomorrow and probably Sunday. <sighs> Bye. Hello, good morning, happy Monday. I am so happy because I actually got one full day away from the building, which was yesterday because my mice had reached three weeks. So then I asked the boss if I could just monitor them um, every other day from now on because the tumors don't seem to be growing like significantly. The bliss and joy of just having one day, one full day away from all of this is just, it was ah, uh, I feel so much better. Ready to tackle the day today. This week, I'm going to be focusing on getting everything ready for the next round of animal studies. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to split my cells. So on Friday, I had revived a new batch of tumor cells to get them confluent in time for injection. My mice will come anytime between Tuesday and Friday this week. So I'm just going to keep my cells ready for whenever. I've never tried this before, but I think we can look through the the microscope together. <gasps> wow, it actually shows up. That's so cool. Wait, let's try this one. Wow, can you see? Can you see? Can you see? Let's just get closer. This isn't actually completely confluent, but I'm gonna split them anyways. So just to explain what I mean when I say splitting the cells is that I'm going to literally like split the cells. So it's important to do this because as cells grow, they will take up more space in the flask to a point where there's no more space in the flask. And this is when we call it like confluent. And when it's confluent and there's no more space for the cells to grow, then they start to die off. So it's really important that there's always like some space for the cells to grow. What I do is I first remove the media and then I wash the cells with PBS to get rid of any dead cells that might be there, like floating on the surface. And then after that, I add some trypsin. So trypsin just detaches the cells from the flask so this requires like a bit of waiting time like two or three minutes in the incubator let's check this now you can see the cells kind of just coming off I'll show you in the microscope too so now they're moving by itself the cells are now detached. After that, I transfer this trypsin solution of cells to a falcon tube with some fresh media and centrifuge it. So I spin it down so that all of the cells will collect at the bottom of the flask. So this is the cell pellet. Once I remove the media and the trypsin solution, then I have my cells ready to go. I add some fresh media and then I just take a fraction of this. So I, I, it's important not to take all of it because then that's just literally just transferring like all of the old cells into a new flask. So I take a fraction of these cells, so then there's less cells than the original number, and now there's more space in the flask to grow. And today, in my case, I'm gonna be splitting them into two flasks. I wanna keep all the cells because I know that I have so many mice to work with. Now they're less confluent. So next on the to-do list is to check the size of these nanoparticles. I'm really hoping that <laughs> They're still fine to use for treatment, so we'll see. We will see. So the oldest particle I have is that guy, and that is from January 21st. It would actually be such a miracle if this nanoparticle was still stable. Wow, they're nearly exactly the same size and PDI. And even that one fall away from January, it's still fine. That's unexpected. I'm in disbelief. <laughs> like, look at this. This is over a month later and it looks so nice. Wow, okay. 
Haha, <laughs> they were not fine. <laughs> so basically, the size looked fine, but then when I went and checked the concentration, so the concentration of the drug got lower. I'm not sure why, but obviously, I shouldn't use these particles for my next big animal study because, like, this is a pretty important study and I need it to be accurate as heck. It is 6 p.m. now, 6:06 .06 p.m. to be exact, and everyone has left, <laughs> and I am just finished. Hang up. I kind of panicked then I like double checked the concentration and I learned that I should redo it so I did redo it and it took me all afternoon so like as I'm making the particles I also check the size before dialysis the size is measuring right now so this is my last sample but these were all of my samples and wait until you see <gasps> oh. Here's beaker number one. There's four batches of nanoparticles in there. And then beaker number two. There's three in there. Beaker number four, there's four in there. And then, oh, this one's pretty slow. This one has four in there. So I stole, oh my, did you hear that? Did you hear that? That's so great. My last sample is finally done measuring so I can go home now. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, so tomorrow I will check the size um, after it dialyzes. So as you can see, I stole all of our clips. <laughs> Like our lab only has this many like big clips and I use all of them for this big ass study Anyways, I'm gonna go home now. My arms are super sore from doing the whole nano precipitation all afternoon So I'm really excited to go home and plop tomorrow I have to present my data for a quick one-on-one -on -one meeting with the boss But I haven't even touched my laptop today. So I guess that's tomorrow morning's problem <laughs> Hello, good morning. I did not finish my slides. I didn't even start my slides for this one-on-one -on -one meeting with the boss today. So I'm just gonna share my screen and show some raw data, I guess. We have meeting at 10 and I want to filter these particles from yesterday and size them. So I'm just gonna quickly explain what I'm doing. So each beaker of the four beakers that I have going on right now contains one nanoparticle. I just did it in replicates. So like each beaker has three to five replicates. So what I have to do now is I have to make sure that they're all around the same size. So I'm gonna filter each of them through this filter thingy my bobber. So like this filter just gets rid of any big particles or any like precipitate that shouldn't be there. And then I will put them into individual tubes to keep them separate and check the size of each fraction and then based off of the size I will combine the fractions together and use this thing here to centrifuge it. Once I put it in here and I spin it in a centrifuge the buffer will go down and then just hang on to the nanoparticles so this is how I concentrate the particles and I prepare them for injection. Alright they are all concentrated here. I don't know if you can see. But the colored part is my particle, and then the clear part down here is the buffer, so it's concentrated. Now I'm just gonna check the size and check the concentration, and it should be good to go. I'll do all that and then check in with you really quick. I just checked the concentration. I think it looks good, and the sizes also look good. So, I believe I am done. <laughs> this is Jamin. This is Pohan. We are going to drop off a cake for Lucas because he is self-isolating right now with his housemate and it's his birthday. So we're going to find his house. We're going to drop it off and then we're going to call him and hopefully he's <laughs> actually at home. <laughs> We'll sing for him. It's super sad that he has to stay at home on his birthday on this lovely day, but we're gonna make up for it. This is one? Yeah. yeah. Oh! Which one? Lucas, are you home? Can you come out? I think we're at your house. <laughs> yeah, okay. Right, right here? Okay. We're gonna drop the cake right there. And then, <laughs> and then, and then we'll go. <laughs> oh, there he is! Hello! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! <laughs> Ready? One, two, three! Happy birthday to you! 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Lucas. <laughs> We love you. Yeah. yeah, I love you too. I wish we could like do this like actually together, but yeah. Noju wanted to be here too, but she has no energy. So she sends her love. Yeah. Say bye. <laughs> You're welcome. Yeah. See you next week. Hello. Good morning. Um, <sighs> I'm just starting off my day super normal. I had like an invigilation session and I was, I was walking to the faculty. I got a notification on my watch with the title decision to the scholarship application that I submitted six months ago. It's a really big one. It's the CGSD. I'm really crappy at scholarship applications. Like I, I never get scholarships. Like rarely ever do I get scholarships. And this is a pretty big one because it's like a national level. So first I had to go through the faculty and then the faculty selected some to push to UBC and then UBC screened through some and then pushed it to the national level so mine made it to the national level uh my heart my heart like it's beating so fast i wish i could show you like how fast it's beating right now but if it doesn't work out it doesn't work out so here we go okay 9 50 a.m thursday april 15th I'm gonna look at my inbox. <sighs> Wait, well, before I even opened it, like I got an email from the boss saying congrats. So does that mean I got it? Uh, I have to go here. Oh frick, I have to go, I have to go log in. <laughs> they don't make this easy. They don't freaking, oh my God, do I even remember my username? Okay, it doesn't recognize my face. Cool, cool. It's too stressed out right now. <laughs> I can't freaking go again. I'm shaking. Holy shit. Understand? Wait, okay. What is it? total number? I got. I got it. Holy shit! What does this mean? Oh my god! Let's go back. Let's go back. Results letter. We are pleased to inform you. <gasps> I need to call no Jude. 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 Oh my god. No Jude! <laughs> 